Hello everyone, welcome to Doses Pathology Review and in today's video I'm going to talk about the causes of cell injury. So this is our map and this is a normal cell in a state of homeostasis and when this cell faces any type of stress then it's going to try its best to adapt to this new environment. If this cell is unable to adapt then cellular injury is going to develop and according to the severity of the injury, the type of injury and the duration of the injury, it can either be reversible or it can be irreversible. Reversibly injured cells can go back to normal with the removal of the stressful agent. But if this stress persists, then irreversible injury is going to develop and these cells are going to die by either necrosis or by apoptosis. And in the last video, we talked about cellular adaptations to stress. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about the causes of cell injury. The most important and the most common cause of cellular injury is hypoxia. And hypo means low and oxia means oxygen. So it means low oxygen and hypoxia is defined as oxygen deficiency at the level of the tissues. And we're going to discuss hypoxia in a separate video. Another cause of cellular injury is chemical agents and poisons and the list of chemicals that can cause cellular injury is endless for example carbon monoxide cyanide and asbestos can cause cellular injury and the thing is even normal substances can cause cellular injury when these substances are in high concentration for example glucose is an important source of energy for all our cells including including the brain cells but if the concentration of glucose is very high then it can cause cellular injury Many therapeutic drugs as well can cause cellular injury when these drugs are given excessively or inappropriately and even oxygen at sufficiently high partial pressure can be toxic to our cells. Okay? Alright. Another cause of cellular injury is infectious agents such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. Another cause of cellular injury is immune-mediated processes and recall that the main function of the immune system is to protect our bodies against pathogenic microbes and it does so by recognizing these microbes as foreign substances but sometimes the immune system recognizes our own cells as foreign cells and by doing that it forms immune reactions that can result in cellular injury and this is the base of autoimmune diseases. Another cause is genetic abnormalities and genetic abnormalities can lead to cellular injury as a consequence of a deficiency of a functional uh, protein or by accumulation of damaged DNA or misfolded protein and when the cells are unable to correct these abnormalities these changes trigger cellular injury another cause is nutritional imbalances and when we see nutritional imbalances we refer to both undernutrition and overnutrition so undernutrition or protein energy malnutrition is common in developing countries and overnutrition is common in developed countries and for example Obesity is an important cause of type 2 diabetes. So when we say nutrition imbalances, we refer to both undernutrition as well as overnutrition. Another cause is physical agents. And example for that is extremes of temperature, heat or cold, radiation and trauma. All these can cause cellular injury. And another cause is aging. And when cells age, they lose their ability to correct any damage in the DNA. And if the cells are unable to do that, then cellular injury is going to develop. So the list of causes of cellular injury is limitless. You don't have to memorize all these causes. You just have to understand them. And you have to remember that the most important cause of cellular injury is hypoxia. And we're going to talk about hypoxia in the next video.